friends, it's Janet, and today is day 17 of the 30-Day Yoga Challenge, and today we're inspired by the dance. There's a posture, dancer's pose. Let's see if I can just break into it here. We're going to work toward this posture. Yeah, that's kind of, eh. but we'll get back to that. And also just feeling like the movement of dance as we flow. So grab your fancy earrings, maybe grab a scarf for you gentlemen, grab a necktie, and let's get started on our hands and knees. Have props nearby. We're gonna use a couple of blocks. I recommend a blanket. Come on down to tabletop position, and we'll start there. So your scarf might be used, it might be in the way, so it's up to you if you wanna throw it out of the way and grab it later, you can, or Coming on down, line your wrists beneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips, and let's flow. As you're breathing through your nose, drop your belly and lift your gaze. As the breath flows out of your nose, round the spine, chin to chest, cat pose, keep flowing. Breathe in, cow, and breathe out, cat. Now, as we are inspired by creativity and dance, you might start to move a little bit side to side or make hip circles or roll your neck around take this into a freedom of movement sort of fashion so maybe hips to heels and you stretch forward just let it go you know when you lose yourself in the dance music playing you're having fun with friends you just kind of don't worry too much about what you look like you just more feel the music and feel your body flowing so flow it away, it really feels great in your body. Mm, and then come on down to ch child's pose. Open your knees wide, bring your big toes to touch, push your hips to your heels and begin to stretch out. I'm gonna take my scarf and lay it beneath my forehead and just soften to the mat. As you come to child's pose, just a quick reminder, rest when you need to, drink water when you're thirsty. This time is for you. Take care of yourself and invite in a little playful spirit. Have some fun. Maybe wiggle your tushy back there or nod your head side to side. Just stretching into your child's pose. Sealing the lips, breathe in and out of the nose and cultivate Ujjayi breathing. Take a few more breaths here. And with your next breath in, rise up onto your hands and knees into tabletop position. Keep that scarf within arm's reach. We'll use it in a moment. Curl your toes under. Exhale to downward facing dog, dancing dog. Bend one knee straight in the opposite leg and switch. Just keep it going, stretching it out. Maybe shake your fanny in the air a little bit. Push your heart towards your thighs. Really letting go, just bringing in playful movement. Feel your breath, let it inspire your movements. And then slowly begin to walk to forward fold at the top of the mat, maybe feet cross one over the other in a sultry little step. And then once you get to the top, feet hang, or feet are placed hip distance apart, body hangs heavy, hold opposite elbows, and just sway side to side, let it go. Good. And then reach down, pick up your scarf, bring your feet together to touch, and slowly round up to standing. Once you come up, bring your scarf high overhead, lay it over your shoulders, bring your hands to heart center, gaze down over your fingertips, or close your eyes. Do you have a favorite dance partner? A friend who is creative and always inspires you? My friend that I'd like to dedicate this practice to is my friend Chrissy. She is a potter. She makes pottery on a wheel and rolls over this thing hours and hours at a time and makes beautiful art. And what happens is her back feels tight and rounded and, and sore as she runs forward all day. So this class, Dancer's Pose, is gonna be a lot of heart opening, a lot of back bending, opening your heart, feel an intention today of dedicating your practice to a creative and wonderful friend. Maybe it's your dance partner. Take a deep breath in, pull that person into your heart. And as you breathe out, open your eyes, 
Release your arms down and step to the top of the mat. If you're not already there, take the ends of your scarf and breathe in to sweep the scarf overhead with you as you come up to mountain pose. Looking up at your palms, inhale as you exhale, open your heart into a gentle backward bend. Let your grip on the scarf be light. You might need to open the arms wider. Inhale, come up to center and exhale. Take that scarf and stretch over to the left, free and moving. Inhale up to center and breathe out to come over to the right. Good, breathe in, come up to center. Bring your palms to touch. Let that scarf fall as you exhale, fold forward. Maybe it falls right off your body. You can always choose to leave it out. Inhale, halfway lift. And as you exhale, plant your palms, step to high plank, the top of a push-up. Now you know your body best, so decide if it's better to come down to your knees or skip the push-up, waiting in downward facing dog. Shift forward and lower all the way down or halfway down. Breathe into either a low cobra, lift your heart up, head up, hands up off the mat. Really squeeze your shoulder blades together. Lift a little higher, breathe in. And exhale, come back through tabletop or however you'd like to get there. Let's meet in downward facing dog. Take three breaths back here, maybe dancing dog. Inhale, that's just bending one knee at a time. Exhale. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more full breath here. Inhale. Exhale, all right, here we go. Slow and sultry walk. Breathe in, look forward, cross one foot over the other. Keep crossing, slow, sultry, playful, breathing, walking to the top of the mat. Grab your, your little strap, if that's what you're using, neck tie or scarf. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise all the way up to mountain pose. Let's flow, exhale, back bend. Breathe and rise up and exhale, tilt left. Inhale back to center, exhale to the right. Breathe and rise up. Exhale, hands through heart center, forward fold. Drop the scarf, breathe in, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your palms, step to high plank. Breathe in, shift forward, maybe on the knees. Exhale, lower all the way down or halfway down. If you wanna try it, straighten the arms. Breathe in, up dog. Strong, straight arms, keep breathing. Kneecaps off the mat. Next exhale brings you up and back. Downward facing dog. Three breaths here. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe in. Breathe out. Once more. Inhale. Exhale. Let's take that slow and sultry walk. One foot in front of the other, crossing over, playful knees bent so you can do it. Getting all the way to the top of the mat, leave your feet separated or together. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, grab your scarf. Let's do it again. Inhale, mountain, come up. Exhale, back bend. Breathe and rise. Exhale, tilt left. Inhale to center. Breathe out, tilt right. Breathe in, rise up, reach up, exhale, bow forward, drop the scarf, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, plant your palms, step to high plank, maybe this time the full expression, high to low plank, inhale lifts you upward facing dog, and we meet in downward facing dog. Three breaths here, settle in, stretch it out, inhale, exhale, breathe in, breathe out. One more deep breath in. Stay for your exhalation. Breathe in, look forward and exhale, step. Forward fold, no scarf. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair, moving into some strength here. Sit deep, reach high, settle in, build leg, leg strength. Lift your 10 toes off the mat, spread them out, place them back down. Deep breath in, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And let's find those blocks. Grab your blocks. Maybe a blanket. Place them on either side of your mat. Ah, I like a blanket for my knees. We're gonna shift to the right foot and step the left foot to the back of the mat. Drop down to your left knee. Okay, lots of options. Blocks beneath your palms. If you're feeling steady, I like my toes curled under. It makes me feel a little more stable and even the right foot just a little to the right. Grab your scarf and lift it up. 
Good. Now stay here or begin to press your hips forward as you look up and bend back. Check that your right knee is not pushed beyond your right ankle like that. Puts too much strain on the knee. So walking the foot forward if that's happening for you. And when we do our dancer's pose or any back bend, sure, it's a back bend. But I want you to bring your awareness to the front of your left hip. We're stretching the hip, the hip flexors, the ones that shorten when we sit too much. So here we are, really stretching the hips, working the lower body part of dancer's pose a bit here. Good. One more big breath in, and as you exhale, bring your scarf down in front of you, grab your blocks as needed, and stretch back. Hamstring stretch. Flex your right toes back towards your nose and stretch down over your right leg. Take a couple more breaths here. Good, and then start to shift forward. All righty, let's set the, the, the strap or scarf right down there, pick up the back knee, and step back to downward facing dog. Good, a little stretch here. Be mindful if you're using a blanket, carefully walk to forward fold, sultry walk if you like to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose, sinking down and reaching high, building strength. 10 toes lift, sit, sit your butt down low. One more big breath in, here we go. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, with or without blocks. Come to the left foot, step the right foot back, as far back as you can, and drop down to your right knee, grab your scarf. Check that the left knee is now pushed beyond the left ankle. Maybe toe heel the left foot to the left a little to give yourself a little more stability. Reach up, press forward, look up, Bend backward. Couple breaths here, really big stretch. Can you feel it in the front of your right hip? Boy, I sure can. One more big breath in. Stay as the breath flows out. Inhale, come up to neutral and exhale, drop the scarf in front of you. Monkey God stretch, stretch the left hamstring, straighten the left leg. Toes pull back towards your nose. Use blocks as needed between, beneath your palms and bend down. Just taking a few breaths here, really stretching out the left hamstring. One more breath. And then lift your gaze and begin to shift forward. Let's come back to downward facing dog. As you come back to downward facing dog, just pedal it out a little bit here, stretch it out, and lower down to your hands and knees, tabletop position. From tabletop position, let's start to clear some space for core work. We're going to set the blanket aside and move the block aside. There we go. Just kind of get that stuff out of your way. I think we'll set our scarves aside. We'll come all the way down to your back. Hey, do you need a sip of water? Take a moment for yourself. Grab some water. Towel off if you're feeling a little bit sweaty. And then let's get to it. Come on down to your back. As you come to your back, hug your knees into your chest and rock gently side to side. I love that little extra stretch, makes me feel pretty good. Here we go, we're gonna come into some Supta Baddha Konasana crunches. Bottoms of your feet touch, knees open wide. Fingers to the back of the head, elbows wide. Breathe in and as you exhale, crunch. Keep going. Exhale as you lift, inhale as you lower. Excellent. Anybody feeling like they want a little more strength in their practice today can lift their feet off the mat, bottoms of the feet press. Chin off the chest, keep your gaze lifted. Elbows nice and wide. Last three. Exhale as you lift, two, one. Good, lower all the way down, hug your knees into your chest. Rock a little bit side to side. All righty, working into the obliques. Yogi bicycles, fingertips behind your head, elbows wide, left leg extends out. Breathe in as you exhale, lift and twist to the right, left elbow touches the right knee. Inhale, center. And exhale, side two. Excellent, keep it going. Feeling the twisty muscles working. Feeling strong. Ooh. Anybody want more? If you want a little more intensity, you can change it up by straightening your legs. That always makes it more challenging. Mm, one more time, each side. Exhaling as you twist, inhale to center. Last time, right elbow left knee. And then lower down, hugging the knees in, rock a little bit side to side. Alrighty, so once you're on your back, we're gonna play around with bridge. Place your feet on the mat beneath your seat. Keep your gaze elevated to the ceiling, palms by your side, and breathe in to lift your hips up. You're pressing your chest toward your chin. Good, 
We're gonna flow through these kind of in a dancey motion. Feel your breath flowing. Breathe in and as you exhale, lower your tush to the mat. Now add the arms. As you inhale, lift your arms high overhead. Back of your hands touch the mat or wall or floor back there. And as you exhale, bring it back down. Do it again. Here we go. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower down. Two more, just like that. Inhale, pelvis lifts, arms overhead. Exhale, tush and palms down. Last one, breathe in, lift high and breathe out to come all the way down. Awesome job, draw your knees into your chest. Rock easy side to side. And then take your fingertips to the back of your knees and rock along your spine three times. On your third roll, come to boat pose. As you come to boat, sit up nice and tall. Feet can be lifted or toes on the mat. If you're feeling really strong, extend the arms out. If you want more, straighten the legs. Hold for three, two, one. Lower with control to your back, full body stretch. Whew. Okay, draw your knees into your heart and rock easy side to side. We're gonna switch it up and rock along the spine three times, rolling all the way over to tabletop on your third roll. Cross your ankles, plant your palms, and make your way to tabletop position. From tabletop position, shift forward and carefully lower, maybe on or off the knees, all the way down. Let's really open up the heart, preparing for our peak pose, dancer's posture. With your chin on the mat, a little bit of drunken cobra. We've done this before. Palms just a little forward of your chest, kind of where the shoulders are, as wide as the length, width of your mat. And then as you inhale, start to lift up. Now, if your low back is tender, lower down. If your low back feels good, draw your legs together. Lift up and sway. Please play side to side. Ooh. One more round of breath, lower down, reach out, find your scarf, use it as a little pillow, rest your right cheek on the scarf, arms by your side, relax, release, and let go. Let's use our scarf for locust pose today. Bring your chin to the mat, take the scarf behind your back, grab a hold of the scarf. One part of it in each hand, as close as your hands can come. Maybe create a little space, a little playfulness, and lift up and fly up. As you lift up, send the arms away from your torso, leaving, lifting your hands toward the ceiling, lifting your legs higher, lift your gaze up. One more big breath in, and breathe out to let it go. Place that scarf underneath your left cheek as you look right and rest your arms by your side, let it go. Okay, floor bow. Now this is really important. It's gonna help us get our dancers, but we're gonna take it different today. Hopefully you can see this. One leg at a time. Okay, let's start by sending the left palm forward out in front of you, and then reach your right hand back and grab your right foot on the outer side of your foot, or, and then push your right foot away. Let your left palm slide back and lift into it. Awesome. Maybe lift your gaze up. Good. Like half a floor bow, right? and then lower it all the way down. Try the other side, reach your right hand forward, kick your left foot into your seat, grab your left foot. Keep your gaze elevated as you kick your left foot back. Maybe your right hand slides back to lift you just a little higher, look up, open up, nice. And then let it all go. Go ahead and rest now your right cheek on that pillow made of your scarf. Ooh, mm -hmm, relax. Ooh, okay, here we go, full floor bow. Chin on the scarf or mat, reach back, grab your feet. Got them? Push back, lift higher. Maybe it's a little easier because we did a little prep for this. Keep breathing, keep kicking. Good, one more big breath in and breathe out to let it go. Left cheek on the mat, arms by your side, relax. Release, just breathe. Okay, place your palms beneath your shoulders. Push into tabletop. Does this ever hurt your knees to stand on your knees in camel pose? If so, take your scarf or a blanket. 
Fold it up a few times, place it beneath your knees. You want your knees hip distance apart, which is the same as two fists placed between, between your knees. And then looking back, toes curled under, hands to the low back. Squeeze your elbows in, lift your heart up, breathe in, and as you exhale, bend back. You can stay exactly there, or if you want, reach for your heels. Nice, push your hips forward, drop your head back. Really prepping for our posture today. Let's bring it back up, hands to the low back, rise up. All right, if it feels good in your body, try a little dancing camel. We've done it before, let's do it again. Left hand to the left heel, toes curled under makes it easy. Slice the right hand across your body, reaching up and back. And then circle the right hand down in front of you. Look to the right, right hand to the right heel. Left hand reaches up and falls back. You've got it, go again, one more time each side. Give it a try, see if you like it. Dancing camel. Really opening up our hips, opening up into a back bend so that we are ready for our peak posture. Let's take a moment to rest, bring your knees and thighs together. Sit on your heels, round over your legs. Soften your forehead down. Soften your arms to your side. Just rest and breathe. Nice to counter stretch your back. Whew. Round up slowly, grab your scarf, flow it to the end of your mat, and meet me in downward facing dog. We're getting there, we're getting really close. Coming into downward facing dog, hips high, dancing dog, one heel presses to the mat at a time. Press your heart back, feel your heart stretch open. Good, and then lift your gaze and carefully walk, sultry and sexy, to the top of your mat. Yeah, bringing our playful spirit to the mat today. Bring your feet together to touch, reach out, find your scarf, bring it with you as you come all the way up to standing. Let's get pretty, put the scarf around your neck. Ah, feels good. Moving into tree, but before we do, circle your arms high, bring your palms together above your head, and breathe out to slide your hands down to your heart. Gaze down over your fingertips or close your eyes, and just take a moment to remember that special someone you dedicated your practice to today. Someone creative like my friend Chrissy, or a dance partner that you love dancing and playing with. Breathe in a sense of gratitude for that special relationship. And as you breathe out, open your eyes and shift onto your left foot. Turn your right foot out and place it at the calf or reaching down, place this foot, right foot at the inner thigh. Please avoid any pressure on the knee. You can stay exactly as you are or maybe grab your scarf and reach up. Take a few breaths here, just breathing. Nice. Bring your hands together in front of your heart and lower your right foot to, your, to the mat. The second side, shift onto the right foot, turn your left foot out and slide it into place. Match both sides as best you can. Once you've got your foot in place, maybe grab the ends of your scarf, lift them high, find your variation, matching both sides as best you can. Remember yesterday was about drishti focus, so maintain your focus, steady, intense and soft at the same time. And then slowly release, hands to your heart, and left foot to the earth. Time for our peak posture. I'm gonna to turn to the side so you can see it. I'm just gonna leave the scarf hanging around my neck, because why not? Let's inhale to mountain, and as you exhale, lower your right elbow to your right hip. Shift to your left foot, kick your right foot into your seat. I like to hold the inner arch of my foot. Some people hold the outer edge, both are fine. Keep your gaze lifted and kick your right foot back. Check that the left foot is leg is strong and straight, and maybe the left hand reaches forward. Feel free to be playful with your left hand. Maybe bring it to your heart. Thinking about that special someone. And then re-extend it out. And come all the way up. And release to mountain. Second side, left elbow to the left hip. Shift to your right foot. Kick your left foot into your seat and grab it. Draw your knees together. And then exhale to push back and reach forward. Steady focus, steady gaze. And maybe bring your hand to prayer position or right over your heart. Better set. And then come all the way back up. And release. Awesome. Let's flow. Inhale, mountain. Whoa, grab the scarf. Exhale, backward bend. Inhale, rise. Exhale, tilt left. Breathing back up. Breathe outside, two. Inhale, rise up. 
exhale, bow forward. Lose the scarf for now, inhale, halfway lift. And as you exhale, plant your palms, step back to down dog. Anybody want to flow through high to low plank? I'll just wait here a few breaths for those of you wanting more strength in your practice today. Winding down with pigeon. If you want to do pigeon on your back, lay, walk through and lay on your back. Otherwise, inhale your right leg high, then exhale your right knee to your right wrist. Left shin is flat and long down the back of your mat. Right foot can be flexed, especially if your leg is parallel or close to parallel to the top of the mat, or pointed if your right foot kind of comes down towards your hip. So make it work for you. Be, feel free to grab a block, put it under your right hip as needed. And then as you exhale, fold forward into it. Coming all the way down. Just soften and rest. Release and let it go. And then slowly begin to rise up. Now, if you feel okay here, stable and strong, try a little extra stretch. Bend your left knee, reach your left hand back from your left foot, and kind of pull it in. Everybody's body is different. Some people could get into what's called mermaid pose. See if that's happening today. Foot to the elbow crease, and I reach up behind. Up, there you go, mermaid posture. We did lots of back bends, so that definitely prepares you for that. Let's meet back. Oh, one more thing. Let's take our right left hip, slide onto the right hip, slide your left leg all the way around. This is a fun little twist. Place your left foot on the outside of your right thigh. Your right leg can extend as needed. Try to secure your left hip bone to the mat. Left hand behind you. Isn't this a fun little transition? Reach up, move into the twist, twist to the left. Maybe your right elbow comes to your left thigh like a little stop sign. Some people hug the knee into their chest. Lift and lengthen as you inhale and look left as you breathe out. Two more breaths here. Breathe in. Exhale. Once more, deep breath in. Slow breath out. On your inhale, come to center and exhale. Twist over to the right. Nice little counter twist. While you're there, lean again into the right hip. Slide your left foot behind you and come back to down dog. Let's do that on the second side. From down dog, inhale your left leg high and breathe out to bring your left knee to your left wrist and your left foot to the right wrist. Your right leg slides long behind you. Maybe check that the foot is straight back there. Coming up, rearranging, flexing the foot of the leg is parallel to the front of the mat or pointing your foot if your, leg, your left shin goes back to the right hip. Make it work for you. Come on down, add a pop as needed. Rest here, let it go. Couple more breaths here. Really surrender. Relax and breathe. And then start to make your way back up onto your palms. Shift onto the left hip. Sweep the right leg all the way around, placing the right foot on the outside of the left thigh if you can. If not, you find a way that works for you, maybe in front of the shin. We're gonna get that right hip back to the mat. It tends to lift up in that transition. Right hand behind you, left hand lifts up, breathe in, and exhale, twist right. Use the little stop sign or hug your knee or whatever work for you on the first side. Breathe in, lengthen, and breathe out, twist. Breathe in, breathe out. One more deep breath in, deepest twist as you exhale. Let's inhale, unravel, and exhale to release the right leg behind you. Oh no, I forgot mermaid pose. Let's try it on side two while we're here. Bend your right knee, reach back, grab your right foot, maybe slide it into the elbow crease, only if your body allows, reaching up and back, mermaid posture, super stretchy. If it's not happening today, do what works for you. I think we matched up both sides of our body. Let's come back to downward facing dog. Nice big stretch here, really opening it up. Lats down dog for our practice, so settle in. And then look forward and step all the way through, have a seat on your mat, getting into a forward fold stretch. Using your scarf, send your feet out in front of you. Pull the flesh of your booty back behind you. Feet are flexed, it's okay to bend your knees. Take your scarf, one end in either hand or however wide you need it. Breathe in to reach up nice and tall and as you exhale, throw the scarf over the bottoms of your feet. Inhale and as you exhale, go just a little deeper. Couple more breaths here, breathe in, breathe out. 
One more time, inhale. On your inhale, rise up, take the scarf, maybe gently place it around your shoulders, around your neck. Grab two blocks. So a lot of back bending today. It's prepared you for a nice heart opening Shavasana. So we'll take our blocks, or some of you might prefer to use the blanket technique where you fold the blanket, you fold the blanket. Let's get it in order here. You fold it over three times once you get it into that nice easy square. It makes a little padding for your spine and that can go behind you. And that's really soft, gentle, easy heart opening back bend. Or for those of you that feel like, hey, I want a little bit more back bend for my Shavasana today, we'll create the letter T with our blocks. Uh, there is a way to make it even bigger. You can take that second block here and place it at the same height as the first one that's a headrest and whoa that's a wonderful heart opener take care of your body make sure that that block aligns right along your bra strap there guys that's right about where your shoulder blades are and as you lie back reach back and adjust please if this doesn't work soften up go easy for yourself if your lower back is tender which could happen at this point lots of back bends Bottoms of the feet can come to the outer edges of the mat and your knees touch and that'll help ease the lower back. Some of you might want a big hip opening rest. Bottoms of your feet then touch with the knees falling open, bound to angle. Or another option is a more traditional Shavasana with your legs out. So take time to figure out what feels best for your body right now. And then close your eyes and just settle in, letting go of controlling your breath simply allowing your breath to flow. And as you continue to rest in whatever variation feels best for you, I'd like to share, as I always do, a little bit of inspiration. When we practice yoga, we wake up the creative aspects of who we are. We come home to our body, we come home to our truth. We understand what feels good in our body. Here we are on day 17, and I hope that this practice, day after day, has brought you into greater connection with your body and with your highest self. Years ago, I was greatly inspired by this book by Eckhart Tolle, A New Earth. And in this book, he helps us to understand that each of us has a purpose on this planet. It isn't just some random science. There's a reason you're here. And maybe like me, this book can help you discover what is your purpose? What is your highest purpose and what is the meaning? And one way to find the meaning in life is to let go, to find freedom and to dance. And my favorite quote from this book is, life is the dancer and you are the dance. What dance will you do? Bring yourself up, upright to seated. Take as much time as you need to get there. And once you arrive, bring your hands to prayer position right in front of your heart. Take your gaze and look down at your fingertips or maybe close your eyes pause to think of this reality. My life has purpose. There's meaning in my life. I'm here for a reason. Let go of all that's holding you back. Awaken the creativity within you. Wake up the dancer within. Life is the dancer and you are the dance. What will you do with your life? Draw your hands up to the third eye, the space between your eyebrows. What an honor to share this yoga practice, this dance with you. From my heart to yours, namaste. Thank you all so much for joining us today for this 17th day. I hope you'll check out this book, at least get an overview of it. I'll leave a link for you below so that if you decide, yes, I wanna order that on Amazon, it'll be super easy. Just click through and order it for yourself. 
Um, I loved it. I think you'll love it too. Thank you so much for subscribing to Free Yoga Club. I have so much more coming for you. Hang in there. We're there. We got this. Feeling good. Feeling creative. Feeling alive. Keep dancing, my friends.